Jumping off the porch like mom's not home Tell me why the best things feel so wrong Summer nights, love them how they take so long All right, Tyler, you said you were interested in like business and stuff. Uh, what exactly are you studying? Do you have like a prospective major? So this year I've kind of used as I guess a typical freshman, any, it doesn't, not even Yale, just any college or university across the country. This year I kind of used to get a lot of just core requirements out of the way um, because Yale requires, um, what is it, two QR, two writing, and three yeah. semesters of language. Yeah, so I think I've talked about the Yale like distributional requirement system before, but we have like six different categories and you need like two credits in each category to graduate. Um, and in addition to like the requirements of your major like rather than just like requiring you to take like specific classes like intro chemistry or like intro writing They just kind of let you explore and as long as you're taking a class that falls into one of those categories It'll count which is pretty cool. So so I've kind of used this year to try and get um, My QR my writing and as much as my language as I can out of the way because that way it'll free up my sophomore, junior, and senior year to take classes that I'm really interested in yeah. and hopefully prepare me for whatever job I end up taking after college. Mm -hmm. As far as majors, I know that econ is a very common path for business-esque students. Um, however, I think I'm gonna do political science just because that opens up a lot of flexibility on what classes I can take because econ is a very specific path, I feel like, of classes yeah. that you have to take and a lot of prereqs. So I think I'm just gonna do poli sci um, because then that will free up a lot of classes that mm -hmm. I can take and it's not as structured so I'll feel like I'll have more control over my schedule yeah. when I'm at Yale. Definitely, what classes are you taking this semester? So this semester I'm taking um, Math 111, I'm taking uh, Yoruba, which is an international language for those of you who don't know, it's spoken in Nigeria. I'm taking, um, I am taking English, 20 I believe it's a freshman seminar, so it's got a unique number. What's the topic? It's uh, called sequel revision in modern literature Sounded pretty uh, pretty <laughs> tough when I was reading about it, but the professors ended up being amazing Wow. Um, so I guess that'd be a p piece of advice. You never know. Yeah um, You never know until you show up shopping period if you're gonna like it or not, mm -hmm. so um, I needed a writing credit signed up for it and up loving it so and it sounded like it was gonna be a really hard class, but Dean recommended it to me and I and I yeah. end up going through with it. That's another good point. Like I don't know, the dean and the head are like of each college play a very specific role, especially when it comes to like classes and stuff. Definitely. Like I feel like I can pr approach her about like anything, whether it comes to like like personal problems to either just like oh, absolutely. even just like class decisions. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, I'd say I meet with Dean as much as I can. Mm -hmm. Um it's not it's not when I came to Yale, I was thinking the um, the head of college and the dean were going to be very intimidating people who I meet with maybe once a year just to talk about stuff and just that person I need to turn in my schedule to or drop a class or something like that. Um, that's what I was accustomed to in, in high school. Um, but then I got here and I met with my my dean, I'd say I try to meet with her at least once a month just to talk. Yeah. Even if I don't have anything specific to talk about, just to just say, you know, she's she's always more than happy to meet with me and just say, hey, what's going on? Let's just, let's talk about that or whatever. Mm -hmm. Whatever is on my mind, I can always just go yeah. to her. It's a great resource, great great person to lean on, like past like your sweet mates and your fro co. Mm -hmm. And I'm also taking intro to international relations, so again, a poli sci class okay, awesome. to try and get a credit just to get used to what I'm going to be taking probably the next four years. Yeah, I think Jake's in that too. Jake, yeah, Jake is in, uh, yeah. Joshua's roommate is, is in that class. Uh, what do you like think of classes in general? Yeah, like how's the workload and difficulty um, compared to like stuff you've done in the past? Yeah, um, <laughs> it's definitely a step up from high school. Yeah. Um, it's just, it's different because in high school, I, f I felt like you go to class, you learn stuff. I mean, it's the same here, but I feel like they're, it's very specific on what homework you have to do. Yeah. Um, and every night you're gonna have homework in probably every class. Whereas mm -hmm. here it's much more, you, A, you don't meet in that class every day, and B, a lot of it's optional. Like on a syllabus, it'll say do yeah. readings X, Y, and Z this week. And it's up to you to kind of mm -hmm. be a diligent student and do it, or else you're gonna be underprepared for discussion yeah. section. Um, so I'd say it's different. It's definitely harder for me at least, um, but I like it a lot because it gives you, a, 
the other side of that is it gives you a lot of flexibility. Yeah, definitely. So if you have a night where you're just not feeling homework and you need to get some sleep, that's okay. Because the next day you'll be more rested, you'll be able to do it. Yeah. Whereas I feel like in high school, no matter what, you kind of had to push yourself through it, mm. which which everyone has those nights where you don't want to. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's definitely a lot more flexible and a lot more of kind of an independent commitment. Definitely, yeah. which, which I like a lot. Yeah. Um, but I also, like I was talking about... Um, so I, I talked about that professor that I end up loving. That's another thing I love about college. As far as Yale, the Yale experience, um, I feel like I've had a pretty good relationship with my seminar classes, um, those professors. Mm -hmm. I've, I've had an overall pretty, pretty good experience thus far um, with those professors. Um, whereas I feel like other universities, I don't, I don't know how it works because we, we don't go there. But yeah, I feel like Yale's classes either fall into like. Uh, I don't know. There's like obviously the big like lecture halls like mm -hmm. intro like econ. Yeah, I don't know my physics huge. class is like 150 yeah. You like those are your big like general intro classes then you have like most of your major classes which are maybe like 30 kids if you're in like stem or so mm -hmm. But if you're doing a humanities majors like most of your classes will be seminars with like 15 people sitting around a table Just having a conversation with the professor and it's it's a really cool experience Which I know for me I, I, I enjoy because I liked those type of classes in high school too yeah. Whereas high school all your classes are smaller But you have sometimes you have those really special bonds with the teacher and those are the classes I end up doing really well in, in high school mm -hmm. Whereas I and I like that at Yale because I feel like I'm I'm able to have a good relationship with my professors talk through with them whatever issues I'm having in the class or just any additional questions. I, I got to college and I didn't realize how many additional questions I had. Yeah. Of course material. I feel like in high school, I just kind of would leave class, go to the next one. Whereas here you, you find yourself just wanting to, you know, know, know more about your professor mm -hmm. or whatever, because most of the time they're usually pretty far up in their field Yeah. and pretty impressive people. So. Definitely. Yeah. The professors here are, crazy and I definitely recommend like getting to know your professors wherever you like end up it's mm -hmm. great to have those relationships especially if you're like curious about like job offers in the future or like definitely. research uh, internship opportunities there that they're there for you so how do you like TD so far our residential college that we live in TD is the best uh, simply put uh, I think that we have the best Dean on campus and I think that Josh would agree and yeah, anyone else sure. in TD would agree she's amazing um, but I, I just like the community at TD. It's just a really good group of, of people. Mm -hmm. And I feel like we've all gotten to know each other pretty well as freshmen, along with um, all of our upper upperclassmen here um, in, in TD. Because kids in the other colleges have, live on old campus um, their freshman year, which is like fun. Yeah. You get to be with all other freshmen. But I think it's very unique that we get to live with sophomores, juniors, and seniors. Mm -hmm. just, right from the get-go yeah you really get to know all the upperclassmen pretty quick mm -hmm. um and like we get to go to old campus when we want to